So today we're going to look at this fan and see how to reverse the direction of the fan. Okay, we've opened up the condenser unit so we can see the wiring. We're looking at the capacitor and of particular interest to us is the common and the fan connections. We can see that the fan wires, the orange is on the fan terminal and the brown wire coming from the fan is on the common terminal. Most of the time to reverse the fan you can just swap these two wires around and that will cause a reversal in the fan direction. But before we do that we want to check the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram can normally be found inside the cover plate. Mine's a little bit dirty so I got a cleaner copy and let's look at it. You can see there's three wires that come off the fan. The black wire comes off the left side of the, the fan on the drawing and it works its way back around and connects to the compressor contactor. The other two wires, I'm going to blow up the diagram. The other two wires are the brown wire and the orange wire. You can see that the brown wire comes out and it attaches to the fan connection on the capacitor. The orange wire connects to the common on the capacitor. So our current connections are reversed and we need to go make this correction. Okay, before we work on this unit, we're gonna make it safe. We're gonna turn the circuit breaker off. We're gonna pull the main disconnect. Some people don't turn the breaker off and just depend on removing this disconnect. But for a do it yourself, or sometimes these disconnects can break and these blades can stay in and you think you're disconnecting the power and you're not. So just to be extra safe, turn the circuit breaker off too. Then pull your disconnect. We also have the thermostat turned off on the inside. Power coming in from the disconnect right here, these two lines. So before I start grabbing stuff in here, I wanna make sure there's no power here again. So I'm just gonna take my voltmeter and using the non-contact tester and I'm seeing there's no power here. Another type, this is a Klein 9 voltage tester. You always want to make sure these are working before you use them. See the green lights on. I touch the two power legs coming in. I'm not getting any voltage. Even though we have all the power turned off, there's still energy stored in the capacitor. So before we do anything with this capacitor, we want to make sure we short all the wires out. You want to short all the terminals to each other. A little bit hard to do it in here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these screws out and then do it. See, I'm pulling the capacitor out without touching any of the terminals. Now I'm going to just short them out. Now that we've shorted all the terminals together, you can touch the uh, you can touch the capacitor leads without having a problem. We have a, a brown, an orange, and a black coming from the fan. The black comes to the power leg here. The brown from the fan goes to the fan terminal. The orange from the fan goes to the common terminal. We also have a power leg coming off the power leg here. The red goes to common. And then we have one wire left, the purple. Purple wire comes off the start winding of the compressor and it goes where it says hermetic on the capacitor. So now we're ready to put our capacitor back in. It's all wired up. Okay, we'll screw down our capacitor and we're ready to go start it up. Once you got it lined up, you're okay. So we got our disconnect back in. Turn my breaker back on. Let's go turn the thermostat on and see if it runs. Watch the leaf blow up. You can see the fan's blowing up in the right direction now, and we've corrected the problem. Please do not do any electrical work unless you've been trained in safe work practices or you're working under the supervision of a trained electrician. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.